is proposing a three-year freeze on domestic agency budgets, even as new numbers confirm just how large the deficit and the debt are becoming. Senior White House correspondent Major Garrett has today's lesson in government math. After last year's deficit of $1.4 trillion, $787 billion in stimulus spending and letting Congress boost non-defense spending by 10%, President Obama will now ask Congress to go on a small three-year spending diet. What the president has proposed, a process by which every family in America has to make budgetary decisions, what they have to spend money on uh, versus what they'd like to spend money on but they can't afford in tough times. In other words, a three-year freeze on non-security spending worth between $10 billion and $15 billion next year. If Congress goes for all three years, which is by no means certain, the savings achieved over 10 years could, when compared to what would have been spent without a freeze, equal $250 billion. That sounds like a lot of money, but it pales next to the $6 trillion of federal deficits projected for the next decade, along with it a doubling of the national debt, both projected today by the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. In sum, the outlook for the federal budget is bleak. We are pushing our way toward debt levels that we don't have experience with in this country. After the stimulus, bank and auto company bailouts, Republicans said talk of spending freezes made no sense. It's like going to a pie eating contest and now deciding like you're gonna go on a diet. On this vote. Even so, the Senate rejected a bid to create a bipartisan commission to recommend tax increases and spending cuts to reduce the deficit. It attracted 53 votes, but fell seven short of ending a filibuster. Back to the president's spending freeze. It leaves a lot of things untouched, things like Social Security, health care spending under Medicare and Medicaid, and all spending on the Afghan and Iraq wars, aid to veterans, homeland security, and foreign aid. All else, in theory, would be on the table, about 17% of the budget. In the campaign, Mr. Obama rejected this very idea. The problem with the spending freeze is you're using a hatchet uh, where you need a scalpel. Fast forward and Republican Senator John McCain had the last laugh. Thank you for taking me back down memory lane. <laughs> uh, but I, th I think that the president understands now how serious this problem is and it requires hatchets and scalpels. The White House briefed senior Democrats last night on the spending freeze proposal but didn't offer a lot of details and until they do, both the Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi are non-committal.